Well, today what we're going to find is that if we're going to have a more effective, fulfilling prayer life, it's going to take more than just saying some words that begin with dear God and end with amen. When we take a look at the Bible today, we're going to find three essentials that our prayer life needs to include if we're going to experience more of what God says we should experience when it comes to prayer, and namely things like his power, presence, grace, and peace. So if you're a note taker, you like to take notes, now's a great time to get that out. Uh, before we dive in, though, I do want to start with some prayer basics just to get us all on the same page here. Uh, in its most basic form, prayer is really just having a genuine conversation with God. It can really happen anywhere at any time. It can be more formal when we're alone in our room, door closed, hands folded, head bowed on our knees, or it can be far more casual. We can pray with our eyes open as we're walking down the hallway at school or at work. We can pray in the car just by turning off the radio. We can pray as we're sitting in a chair looking out the window at nature. See, what's really important or more important here, uh, and we often encourage people to do, is to schedule a specific time and place where you're regularly going to meet with God. Uh, just like any meeting, usually it's not going to happen if it doesn't get on your schedule, so we just we really recommend that you, you schedule it on a regular basis. For me, the regular time that I meet with God is first thing in the morning in my office when I go to work, and usually I go in early to do this. Where is it for you? Where do you regularly meet with God? If you're an early bird, it can be uh, sitting at your kitchen table over a cup of coffee before anyone else gets up in the morning. Or if you're more of a night owl, it can be one of the last things you do before you turn out the light and go to sleep. Whatever works for you, schedule it. Just, make, just get it on your schedule to make sure it happens, otherwise it's likely not going to happen. And then when you actually sit down to pray, you can either choose to pray out loud, say the words out loud, or you can pray quietly in your head. doesn't matter because God knows your heart. Uh, many people choose to write down their prayers, which I do roughly half the time because it helps me know how and when God has answered my prayer, but it's really not necessary. What's important here is that Jesus wants our connection with God to be regular and daily, but the how and where of our prayers is not what's most important. I mean, God is not all that concerned about the logistics of our prayer life. Instead, he's far more concerned about our attitude or perspective towards it, which is why we're going to look at the three essentials that the Bible says that our prayer, li prayer life needs to include. The first of which is this, it needs to be honest. Our prayer life needs to include honesty. Uh, at one point, the disciples were watching Jesus pray, and when he got done, the 12 of them were so intrigued by what they just saw that they asked Jesus, please teach us to pray like you do. And in part, this is what Jesus said. When you pray, don't babble on and on as people of other religions do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating words again and again. The people of these other religions they would say their prayers as if it was a magical incantation, that somehow it would move their so-called God to answer them in the way that they wanted to. And what Jesus is saying, listen, the Lord doesn't work that way. God is not interested in formulaic prayers. There's no combination of words that we can say that will cause the almighty creator of the universe to answer our prayer the way that we want him to. Instead, what God is most concerned with is genuine, heartfelt prayers. It's, it's speaking honestly with God when you're sad, angry, frustrated, insecure, overwhelmed, or scared. In fact, those are the times that we should be going to God the most. And don't think for a second that God doesn't care or that he's not interested in what you have to say because God cares deeply and he loves it when his children come to him in prayer. 